Let's talk about how to remember information that you read from the textbooks. It's a lot easier than you might think. Now the way most people normally try to read a textbook is that they start at the first page of the chapter, then they read the last page of the chapter, and that's their approach. They read a textbook the same way they read a novel. Bad idea if you ask me. It doesn't stay in your head. What I'm about to show you with a few easy steps is to be able to read any kind of textbook or manual and remember almost all the details in a logical manner. Especially if you are preparing for an exam, this is going to be life changing once you understand this approach. So the first thing that you do is simply flip each page, take the beginning of the chapter and turn page to page just to see what's on the page. Don't even bother to read anything. Simply look at what the pictures are, look at what the pages look like. This will give you a sense of how long the chapter is. How many words are there compared to images? Are there going to be graphs, charts or tables? It's more of a quick overview of what the whole thing looks like. Then you're going to go to the end of the chapter. At the end of the chapter, did they give you any sort of quiz? In most textbooks, there's going to be some sort of quiz at the end of the chapter or at the end of each section. Why is it a good idea to read the quiz before you read the chapter? Because you'll know where to look at, what to look for. What you're discovering is what did the author of this chapter think was so important you're supposed to have gained from the information in this chapter. This is what you're supposed to get out of the chapter. So when you read the chapter, you'll be reading with a focused attention. And here's what I'm looking for. Now your internal radar is on. It's actually called the reticular activating system. The reticular activating system or the RAS is a bundle of nerves at our brainstem that filters out unnecessary information so the important stuff gets through. It is the reason you learn a new word and then starts hearing it everywhere. It's why you can tune out a crowd full of talking people yet immediately snap to attention when someone says your name. So this is what you want to be activating before you read the chapter. And now you're gonna go back to the beginning of the chapter and read the bald print. Find out what they thought was so important they needed to put it in bold. You're not gonna read through all the sentences. You're not gonna read all the information in the entire chapter. You're just going to go and read the bold print. These are the subtitles. These are the topic headings. These are how they broke down the information within the chapter. In other words, the bold print is going to break the information down for you. So now, you're kind of understanding how this stuff fits together. And finally, one last thing before you read the chapter. You're going to read the first and the last sentence in each paragraph. Not just a page of each paragraph. First sentence of a paragraph is the introduction. It's a quick overview. If it's a well-written paragraph, the first sentence of a paragraph gives you an indication as to what the rest of the paragraph is about. And usually, the last sentence of the paragraph helps you sum it up. Make no mistake, at this point, you are not reading for comprehension. You are just reading for exposure. You are not going to understand this stuff yet, because you haven't been able to connect the dots. But now, you are going to have a map of all the dots. What you have got is a preview of what's to come. Your brain is now set up for all the information of the chapter. And now you read the chapter and take notes. What you're actually doing here is giving yourself multiple repeats in a logical order. And if you follow this formula, you'll only need to go through the chapter once. Now, you must be thinking that's a whole lot of work. Well, it's a lot of work compared to just reading through the notes and getting back to Instagram or Facebook or Netflix and well you get the idea. But it is actually a fraction of the work 
compared to cramming for a test and staying up all night to squeeze all this information in your head and hoping and praying that it's gonna stick in your head tomorrow. Leave a like if you found this video helpful. Subscribe for more useful perhaps life changing videos like this. And let me know in the comments whether this formula helped you achieve your target. Until then, have a nice day.